my name is Maddie. I am a junior international business major at WT and I'm set to graduate in May 22. Um, and this summer I have had the really awesome opportunity to intern for the U.S. Embassy in Colombo, Sri Lanka, as well as taking some online classes at WT. And my future plans are to hopefully work in the Foreign Service, so working for the U.S. Department of State as a Foreign Service Officer in the Public Diplomacy Career Track is my future goal. And actually for the past two summers, I've had an internship with them. Uh, the first summer, I interned in the Department of State in Washington, D.C. in the Bureau of Populations, Refugees, and Migration. And currently, I am interning for the U.S. Embassy in uh, Colombo, Sri Lanka as a public affairs assistant. So it's been a really awesome experience and definitely I've learned a lot about the State Department and other, you know, things that go on in there, which I think has prepared me very well for my future career goals. So it's something I'm super excited about and something I really want to do someday. Um, yeah, thanks for being along on the journey. Hi guys, so just a little update. I am currently in Bend, Oregon, so I will be here for the next couple of weeks. Um, and I think that's kind of the cool part about taking online classes and doing things online in the summer is that it does give you a lot of flexibility with like being able to go different places. And that's just been super fun for me to be like, I've gone to New Orleans, uh, I'm about to go to Seattle this weekend. So it's just really cool that uh, I can bring it all online with me and it doesn't have to be like, oh, I can't do this because I've got this. Like I can do both of them and still travel around, which is something I love to do and just super helpful to me. This is my class setup today. <laughs> I am working outside for a little bit until um, I probably, until it gets too hot. <laughs> Hi guys! So uh, right now it is almost about 6 p.m. and I am coming outside to work on my schoolwork for a little bit. I try to balance it pretty well, um, so I work on it a little bit every day. So I'll probably watch a lecture or listen to, le to a lecture right now and take notes and then work on an assignment for a bit. But I am outside and it's beautiful and sunny and super warm. Um, so I'm honestly looking forward to it and I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get some serious tan lines, but I love my chacos. Dad, where are we going? Over there. Where is over there? The five Fusion Sushi. So another super awesome campus resource to utilize is the Nationally Competitive Scholarship Office and the Student Success Center. Laura Seals works on there and she is incredible if you need help editing your essays, even if you just need support or guidance throughout the application process, she is your go-to. She is so awesome, so helpful. And she's sat on some of those Nationally Competitive Scholarship boards and so she knows what they look at. Um, the things that stand out in applications and so definitely utilize that resource. I went to her for help with the Benjamin A. Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship. It's a State Department funded study abroad scholarship and I worked with her for maybe a month, maybe a month and a half on some drafts that I was working on for that application and she was so helpful and provided such great feedback multiple times on my drafts and so I was super grateful and I did end up getting that scholarship so I would definitely say utilize your resources and utilize the people who are literally there just to help you just to just support you and guide you through these processes. So So it is 1 p.m. right now. I just got off a video call with my cohort, my internship cohort, 
and the global political officer in the U.S. Embassy in Beijing. We were having a brown bag meeting and they have lots of those throughout the State Department, not just for my internship, but they're pretty much presentations or sessions during lunchtime where either somebody is presenting on something, a topic you're interested in, a different pathway program or something you're interested in, or even just in our case, it's a question and answer session with somebody with a foreign service officer. Um, so we've had lots of those this summer and obviously like they've been virtual, so they've been all over the world. And that has been really great and they're super informative and so nice too like it's surprising how much they just want you to succeed and i love that um but anyways yeah it's 1 p.m now and i came home to get some food because i'm hungry it's lunchtime and i didn't pack anything so yeah perks of being so close i just drove over here and i'm gonna eat some lunch now I'm gonna make some lunch and save some money so <laughs> that's always good So we, my internship co cohort and I just got done um, having a meeting with the U.S. Ambassador to Colombia, Ambassador Goldberg, and that was really, obviously really cool and very fun and informative, and definitely one of the highlights I would have to say about having the internship virtually is that we have been able to have meetings and brown bag sessions with um, a bunch of people from all over the world, and you know, even Ambassador Goldberg, who I probably would not have met. Um, had I just gone to Sri Lanka, which obviously still would have been my ideal preference to have traveled um, there to my post, but it's it's opened up a lot of other opportunities that I think are good. And it's important to realize that, you know, life still moves on and it's still an incredible opportunity that I have to take advantage of. So um, yeah, I'm still really grateful for it and definitely think that there's always something positive that comes from you know changing circumstances like this even though maybe it wasn't what I wanted to happen I, I think I still think that people can learn a lot from their situations and plans changing like they can be more adaptable more flexible more technologically skilled or something like that so there's always you know good to come from the situations that have happened recently so didn't want to um, end my video without talking about a couple of the organizations that I'm in that have really impacted me since I've my time here in WT. Um, and one of those is Enactus. So Enactus is a entrepreneurial business organization. Um, and we work on really awesome projects that help and impact the communities around us. So namely Canyon and Amarillo are the ones that we mainly help. Um, but we do really awesome things that help people. So we have a candle business that a battered women's shelter is now sort of running and they're making the candles, selling the candles and earning a profit for themselves. And it's just really great. I've learned a lot of presentation skills. Definitely I've learned from them. Um, management, project management. And another one that I'm a part of is a Rogers Lee WT. And so that's a leadership program, development program. Um, and so it's not really like an org that you can join, but you can apply to join and it's really awesome. And I've learned so much from um, Rogers Lee WT and you just get a family. Like I'm really close to the people who are in um, the program with me. They're some of my best friends and it's just a really good family and shoulder to lean on um, at WT. So I highly recommend those to anybody who's wanting to kind of grow in leadership, join something or help others too. You know, we're all about service. Both of those are all about service. So yeah, highly recommend.